Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Fire and Emergency Services Administration Applications of Fire Research course. Um, this course is, is one of those that we have waited to provide at the end of your um, journey here at East Georgia State uh, because it is um, it's a heavier load. It's, it's going to require a little bit more work. It's definitely a senior level course, uh, and that's where you are right now. So um, I wanted just to explain to you a little bit about some of the things that are on the course site and then let you know. Um, kind of make some explanations about what is expected of you. Uh, as you know, and I'm looking over here at my computer, um, most of the easiest way to go through my courses is to click on the content tab at the top of the page. And that will give you a list of everything that uh, is required. And then you can click on those individual modules on the side to find more information. And one of the first things that I want to point out, as I'm looking through here, just, uh, there's the usual stuff that's in there. Uh, the course syllabus, make sure you look at that. It has a lot of due dates in it, and I want to make sure that you calendar those dates. Um, there's also a, a new piece or a new uh, module there um, that's called Course Readings and Reference. Um, this is a new thing I've started using in my courses where if you have articles to read that you're going to use to discuss or write about, or if there's reference material that I want to provide for you, uh, it is going to be in that reading and references site. Um, there's going to be information about um, that relates to your project. Uh, in this course, there's like going to be like four or five articles that you need to read, and then we're going to discuss those in the discussion board. So um, that is where all of that information is going to be. So make sure that you are familiar with that. And then the next tab is your, um, your project for this course is a research proposal. You're not going to be actually doing the research in this class. You're creating the proposal. Uh, there's an example of a proposal there that, that's really great because it lays it out for you, but also explains what goes in each of those sections. Uh, so look at that. I've also posted some information there about uh, you know, your problem statement, your purpose statement, and your research question. Uh, and then you'll be doing a literature review to support this, to see what's out there already. Um, so there's some it's pretty extensive work that you're going to be doing in laying the foundation for this research project. This is laying the foundation because it is going to, you're going to build on this in your capstone course uh, that should come next semester for most of you. Um, if not, it will come down the road and you'll still be, be using this information. Uh, so um, again, those deadlines are there for a reason so that we can make sure they're, they're pretty early on but we need to make sure that everybody's got a problem statement, a purpose statement, and those research, uh, the research questions, and that they are appropriate and, and well-defined so that the rest of your research will go smoothly. That's, very, that's a very important part of this. Um, so the next you have um, the different modules based upon the chapters that we are going to be reading. And some of this material, uh, none of the chapters are especially long. and Some of them are... Um, I, I, they're not as deep as you might think, meaning, you know, sometimes when we talk about research, um, it gets a little overwhelming. But this book is very well written and it deals for, uh, it points out uh, areas for the public sector as opposed to private sector type of research. Um, so it is a good book. Your writing assignments will consist of some of the, ex the exercise questions at the end of each chapter. Um, be sure and look at the course site because it's not like you have to do them all. Sometimes you will do them all, sometimes not. Uh, and you'll be uploading those um, after you have read the chapter, you'll be uploading those to um, the course site under the assignments tab. Um, there's also going to be about five articles, outside articles that, that you're going to read to supplement uh, the information in the selected chapter, the chapters or units um, that will be used for the discussion board. And so we'll be, be reading those articles and discussing them. Um, again, there's a lot of reading in this course, and I apologize for that. There's really no way around it. I am going to try to find some videos that supplement. Uh, and, and keep in mind that when I say supplement, um, I, it's not that you have to look at those things. They will be there as references and resources for you if you're struggling with the material and the information. Uh, I just want to add as much as I can so that, that you have access to uh, those kinds of things. 
This is a full semester course, so um, pace yourself accordingly. Again, like I said in my very first um, Please Watch video, uh, I want us to stay together as a group, and that way we can help each other. Um, I want us to critique each other's problem statements um, and um, purpose statements and questions. So we're going to be doing a lot of maybe ad hoc discussion board type of, um, of, of discussion, or hopefully we're going to be able to do some Skyping um, in some kind of internet online experience throughout the semester. I think that will be beneficial to us all um, as we go through this process. Um, I think that's about all that I wanted to mention to you. Um, at this point in time, I do not have quizzes for this course, and there may be uh, some kind of a final exam. Uh, I haven't decided that yet, but the bulk of your grade will be your research proposal. So we really want to be thinking about that, be reading about that, about what that means, about, you know, just kind of think about that, and because we do need to get that. Um, we do need to get that together, uh, certainly. So, um Good luck in this course. You will find, um, just a, a hint for you, Katie Shepard, our librarian friend who loves us so much, um, is going to have a big presence in this course. And so use your library chat. If she offers uh, a time to Skype, Skype. Uh, it, if nothing else, just go on there and say, hey, Katie, I'm, this is what I'm doing. Is it right? Uh, and that way, um, I'm going to try to, we're going to try to, to Skype together with you, um, but, but um, this is where you need your reference librarian. And so um, make sure that you avail yourself of the library chat and also of Katie's um, um, availability during, during this course. Um, keep watch for more information about the course, about the project that's coming. Make sure that you look at those um, those dates and get those on your calendars. Uh, and as always, if you have any questions, problems, concerns, please let me know. Um, this is a this is to me this is a very important course because there's not enough research in the fire service or emergency services that's hard, concrete data, and it's going to help you as a leader and an administrator in the fire service learn how to evaluate. Uh, your your fire marshal's office and your uh, suppression division. When we start talking about outputs and outcomes, uh, those are things that are so important uh, when we talk about measuring um, what we do in the fire service, fire and emergency services. And so uh, it is a very important course. So I hope you enjoy it. Hope you learned something. Um, let me know if you have problems and we will be talking to you during the course. Thanks.